This is Green Janine with Toss50.com, the other side of 50. And I'm in a beautiful spot for birding. And believe it or not, I am on NASA property by the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. You might think, what do birds have to do with NASA? And maybe you think of the power of flight. But there's a lot more to it than that. And here to tell us more about the connection between birding and NASA is Nancy Corona from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be able to talk about the refuge. Well, Nancy, can you explain where we are and what this property has to do with NASA? I would be happy to. Uh, I actually work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service manages the National Wildlife Refuge System. And Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge is where we are right now, and that's part of the National Wildlife Refuge System. There's 552 National Wildlife Refuges. Main mission, wildlife comes first. So we're lucky to be having uh, 140,000 acres that are preserved by Kennedy Space Center that are actually managed by a National Wildlife Refuge. And so here at the refuge, uh, wildlife and people and education and just coming out and enjoying wildlife is just a really important part. Is this specifically a good place for birding? It's Merritt Island Refuge is an excellent place for uh, bird watching. It was designated as a refuge for migratory birds. And we have Wildlife Drive where you can view a number of different species. T to date, there's 350 birds that have been observed on the refuge. And it's internationally renowned as a bird watching area. So it is a great place because we have a diversity of uh, habitats. So that therefore you have a diversity of species that are found here on the refuge. Is there a certain time of year that it's better to come for birding? Yes, actually the winter months when the migratory birds are coming out of the, the cold and out of the north where they can't find the food, they're coming down here. And uh, so migratory birds are in the most abundance during the winter months. That would be from November through about uh, April. And then there's transient periods where you have uh, fall and, and spring migration. And then in summer, you actually have some species that you won't see other times of year because they're actually using the refuge as a breeding area for, uh, they'll come from South America, such as the black neck stilt. So it's a, it's a array of, of different species throughout the year. The main concentration is during the winter months. Do you have endangered species here on this property? Yes, it's a, a significant area for endangered species. This refuge has 10 reoccurring uh, endangered species, and one of them is the West Indian manatee. Another is the Florida scrub jay, which is only found here in Florida, and we have the second largest population. And um, there's just a, a, a number of different species, not only uh, nationally threatened or federally threatened, but also on a state level. So yes, it's a very significant place for endangered and threatened species. Could you talk a little bit about public access here? When I pulled up, I saw that you do have a building and um, you do have some wonderful boardwalks. Can you tell us about public access and trails? It is a great place to come. A lot of people don't realize it's here, but the refuge has seven seven hiking trails which range from a quarter mile in length to five miles. We have handicap accessibility for wheelchairs and it goes through scrub habitat, it goes through uh, hammocks, so you really get a nice diversity of, of habitats and therefore a lot of different species you can see. We have a beautiful visitor center with a, a bookstore run by our friends group, the Merritt Island Wildlife Association. We have uh, education programs free for public schools, home schools, scout groups. We have public uh, programs a different a variety of different uh, topics such as bird watching tours and manatee programs so there's uh, boat launches you can go fishing so the recreational opportunities are many and it's a lot of fun well thank you very much Nancy